folks? I am Ultrazilla and today I have a review of the Robot Spirits Rebuild of Evangelion Eva 01. Alright, my zillions, this is like uh, the third or fourth Evangelion I'm doing in like a month. Um, give her give or take. Uh, but this is very exciting. And I wasn't that excited over it just merely a few weeks ago uh, when I did version one of EVA 01 through the Robot Spirits. Um, I In that video, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to get this because it just, you know, it didn't seem that different. And you know what? The more I looked at it and the more pictures I was shown, yeah, I did. there was something different about it. So uh, when I... I took a look at where pre-orders were still open. I saw Hobby Search still had it, and I was just like, let's pop it in and get it to me. Of course, it took a little while to get to me. I, I don't exactly know why. I had some other things come from Hobby Search super fast. This took uh, about a week plus, a uh, week and a half plus uh, to get to me. But once it was in transit, boom, DHL, super fast. Here it is. And a rebuild of Evangelion is so fitting because this truly is a rebuild of this figure. There is... It, it's not the same figure. It is not the same figure as before. Uh, and I'm so, so happy to have it here. Let's get to the review. A quick little extra to talk about. This uh, is actually, uh, I believe, from the new movie that's out now uh, in Japan. I don't know if it's out right now. I have no idea. It's out sometimes. It's like called uh, Thrice Upon a Time, I believe. Something like that. Uh, but yeah, there's a new movie, so I guess the look would be a little bit different if that is indeed what I gather this is from. <laughs> also, there was a special bonus, and this is going to lead into the accessories, um, a special bonus uh, Tamashi stand with like the Eva logo on there, or the Nerve logo, I forget which one it is. Um, because I didn't pre-order this uh, originally, I unfortunately did not get that. That was a uh, first come, first serve item. Uh, that's totally fine with me. <laughs> I really don't mind. But I just wanted to mention those two things. The first accessory, you get an extra horn here. You know, just on the standard purple and green. You get a nice amount of hands. We have some karate chopping hands. We got some super splayed hands. We have some more creeping hands. I don't know, creeping hands. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> some gun holding hands some fist hands he's got some like open hands there they are all very very nicely sculpted as you can see here nicely painted some silver a little uh like orangish dot there really really nicely done here you get one little adapter to stick underneath there to uh put on a like a stage act maybe the one that it was you know it could have come with you get the good old progressive knife done really nicely here. I love the gunmetal. I love that dark red. I like the uh, the silver trim around the gunmetal. Really nice. The hilt looks fantastic. Really, really, really great. And it fits in our hand pretty fantastically. A really cool piece is this back piece, a shoulder piece here where the progressive knife does come out of. That looks amazing. I love it. The greens look great. The purples, again, you see the knife there painted fantastically, just like the actual knife, which is still in your hand here. Um, this one, you take out from the back here, little, little ball, ball joint there. And then this, you can pop in. Like so, like that. <laughs> Like that. Oh, this one doesn't want to pop in good. Or it comes out easily, I should say. Let's see. Could this be the first problem? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Doesn't want to pop in too well. Let's see together what the problem is. Let's see. You get all the problems here at Ultrazilla. I don't want you not to see this stuff. You know, I can make it fancy, cut it when I'm done. But let's find out together why. There we go. No. 
This does not want to stay on in a minute. There we go. I think. Yes. Possibly. It's a little loose. But anywho, this, you know, and then we would do that. That is not bad. That is pretty, pretty cool. I love this idea. You get the pallet rifle. Very nice. Very simple, you know? But that's what it is. I think it looks good. Gray. A little bit of orange. Good sculpt. And she looks really good with the pallet gun here. Let's rock! We get the umbilical cable here. Oh, There's still some tape on mine. <laughs> but it's pretty good. Nice bendy wire here. That's pretty good. The uh, hilt here, I guess. <laughs> uh, looks pretty good. Very, very nicely done. The bottom here, again, you can stick that on the Tamashi Act stage deal if you'd like. There's a hole already there. No need to uh, take any parts out. Goes in pretty easy peasy, so that's pretty awesome. And finally, we have the Where You At field. Um, looks pretty good. Pretty similar to the other one, I think. I think it's a little bit different. Um, I do like how it comes out from the center like that, the way uh, all the little shards look. And then the middle, you know, looks like that, I think. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's on this, like, stand here. This time I have the stand. Um, last time I had the stand, too. It was, it was <laughs> right by me, and I didn't even realize it. Now, for this one, you'd want these hands on there, but uh, I'm not going to go crazy with that. You can get the same just by doing so like this. You know what I'm saying? Just pulling open the field there. It looks pretty good, you know? Very similar to what we got before, so yeah. But what we're really here for is Eva, and it looks fantastic. It really does. First off, proportions are great. I love it. Tall, lanky, the way it's supposed to be. Just looks really good. I love, love the long arms. I like the gait. Um, it is nice. It is really well done here. Bring it closer. Looks awesome. Looks really good. The head sculpt is fantastic. Really well done. The eyes look great. Love the gold. Love it. And I like the little red pieces going out of the gold that looks really good out of the eyes i should say and then the green here is on there's a lot of things done with plastic and i appreciate that um a lot of people don't but i i like that you know it's cause if it looks good it looks good and i feel like the plastic choices here look good it's really really light that i, I want to say it's very 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 light and i feel like actually the original is a little bit heavier and the plastic quality is a little bit different um We'll look at them together a little bit later, but like, I just feel like there's a lightness to this and that's fine. Um, it's almost model kit quality like, um, but it doesn't feel like loose or anything. It just feels right. It feels really good. The arms look awesome. I love it. The green, the oranges on there, really nice. I love how the green here looks on the black. This is sculpted. Uh, so that's cool. Again, the hands will look great. The back fins here, back arm fins look fantastic as well. This part here has a uh, nice gun metal on there. That looks good. The chest looks amazing. Oh, I'll forget the chest because I just opened the mouth. So there you go. On here, we don't have extra head. We have a hinged jaw. Uh, and that looks awesome. And it looks bloody inside. Um, nice red, well, well done. I like the purple around it on the, like, teeth. That's pretty good. I like the, uh, little green tip here. That looks cool. Really nice. Neck looks awesome. Again, I love all the pieces kind of layered on top of each other. That's done really well. The chest looks amazing. Again, really great gunmetal. 
What are those? Gunmetal. It shines. I like it. And then you got all these little red circles in there that look good. Back there, it looks really good. The back of the head looks awesome. I love it. That is amazing looking. The shoulder pads look really good. The greens look great. I always love how the green, this green and this black looks fantastically together. I have to say, after removing this, it did get a little bit loose, but not super loose. The back looks awesome. Do be careful. Some of these things are actually kind of sharp. The spine looks amazing. Again, that gunmetal is really great. Chef's kiss. I'll chef kiss it. The joints are interesting. You see the little metal in the joints, and I think that's cool. Uh, it kind of adds to it for me. You get it in here at the shoulder again, at the uh, elbows. We get it at the legs. Don't recall. No, you don't. So you got it in a couple spots, but I think it looks cool. Like it's a good way to go with the joints there. It doesn't bother me at all. I, this looks amazing, guys. It's really, really good looking. I'm just enjoying just like moving it around and playing it around with it here. Legs are awesome, really nice shapes, defined well, perfectly, I should say. The knees look cool, a little bit yellow in there that looks great. Green here at the bottom of the boots look awesome. The bottom of the feet look amazing. Really well sculpted there, I really like it. <laughs> I do though. It's awesome. So very, very nice. I do, I did have one little paint issue. Uh, I, it's not really a paint issue. It's a, I have a little, yeah, it's a little scrape in the paint right there at the edge. You see that? At the top. It's not the worst because it's not in the, the, like, the worst spot to be in, but it's definitely there. You know, that's probably just, you know, something on mine, but I definitely wanted to point that out. I like how it looks on the side here. Do you like black panel lines? Really cool. Really, really, really cool. This is an excellent looking Eva. And I am really happy um, that there is a lot of Eva coming out. You know, like, I got a couple, three more, I believe, on pre-order right now for the rest of this year. So there's gonna be plenty of Eva on this channel. And I got a couple here that I still have to review that I really want to review. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. But this is amazing. This is probably one of the figures of the year. And we got some really big, amazing looking Evas coming out, but this is amazing guys. All right, articulation, you saw these. These are on ball joints. The head, first off the jaw. There we go, jaw. Opens really wide, actually. It's pretty cool. But total berserker. Head is also... Oh, this comes out, of course. So don't don't move it around from that. <laughs> Head is on a ball joint. So is the neck. Good range of motion there. The upper body has some motion. Not a ton, but it's there. And then you get another piece here. So it's got one, two... This can go in, which is great. Look how, I love how that goes straight in. And you can see it's like bald inside. And when you go in, it just kind of gets wedged underneath, in between the ball and the bottom, which is amazing. And then the waist has a separate joint as well. So you got triple action going on here in the uh, upper body, which is a very, very good. Now you can see in here, there's a, uh, this, shoulder joint goes into a ball. So there's kind of like a, it's like an open uh, butterfly joint. So look how far across you could get with this Eva. That's awesome. Hinge, swivels, then swivels over here at the bicep and at the top part here. If I could make it turn, yeah. You can get a lot of motion out of the shoulder, which is amazing, and the bicep. Double, well, yeah, it's kind of like, uh, it's a single jointed elbow, but the way they do it, it's deep on both sides. So, as you can see, she could bend her arm really far. Hinge here at the wrist, swivel as well. Then the legs are done differently. There is a drop down joint on both sides, and it can move around. 
nicely. Super high kick. Can go back. As far as outwards go, the sculpt kind of hurts it a little bit. The, the thigh parts here come out a little bit too far, too high for it to get like a super like split. But you know, is what it is. I love the drop down though. That's pretty good. See how the, the joints are? That's completely different from the original. Swivel at the thigh. There you go, double jointed knee. Then this thing does move around a little bit. Pretty deep ankle. Rocks really good. Look how where the rocker is. See, whoop. See that right there? It's on the bottom, which means You can rock it pretty far, which is amazing. So really, really good ankle joints there. Now the foot is awesome too. Check this out, ready? I love how they, they sculpted that when it opens up, this part just comes up. Very, very nicely done. So I really love this articulation. It is done super well. So you're gonna be able to do a lot with this Robot Spirits EVA 01. For your size comparisons, first here's a bunch of figures you might have in your collection. And how about with some uh, related EVA 01 and family pictures. But I think the uh, biggest comparison you'd wanna see is to the original uh, Robot Spirits version. And as you can see already, or maybe you can't, the new one is way bigger. Uh, not way bigger, but it's taller. Uh, you know, if you put together a lot of their joints, you could just see it's a different sculpt. Um, you know, it's pretty interesting. But yep, yeah, it's different. The lengths of their arms are different. You know, obviously the colors are different. You know, one being rebuild I guess I, I don't know <laughs> but you know like forget about that <laughs> when it comes to the actual like distinguish uh distinguishing the different <laughs> versions uh I I get confused I know them as you know the lighter and darker purple Evo <laughs> and I really don't care um it's fine <laughs> um but yeah you can see like right away it's just it's a different figure you know and it feels different the plastic feels different. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. I'm not gonna go super, super fine details here. If you wanna see my review of this one, I just did it a couple of weeks back. So you could, or three weeks back at most, you could easily uh, find it. Uh, but there you go. That's how they look together. Definitely different figures. And my final thoughts, whew. This thing is amazing. I absolutely love it. I think I've had like two little problems with it. One was the little chip on the, the top of the shoulder. And the other thing was the um, the other side of that shoulder. When I took it out, it was a little bit hard to um, make it stay in. It's, it's staying in pretty good now, so I don't know. Uh, but otherwise, man, this is amazing. This is, and I just reviewed the original version, so it is fresh in my mind. This is such an upgrade to that. It's insane. I am so glad I was able to get an order in uh, for it. I mean, you can still in some places here in the US, but in Japan, it seems like it's been sold out almost everywhere. So to have been able to like jump in right as it came out on uh, Hobby Search was great. I missed out on the, the pre-order bonus, but whatever. I don't really need an extra stage act here. Um, this is well worth it. It is amazing uh, and I highly, highly recommend it if you are an EVA 01 fan like I am. Uh, and like, you know, I'm I'm like purely in this brand just for EVA 01. I love EVA 01. Like, I could really like, I, I haven't watched a ton of Evangelion. Um, first series, about it, <laughs> you know? Um, but Eva is the one that for me always did it uh, and that's 
that's why I want Eva's in my collection. I just love this design, this color scheme. You know, folks are always like, oh, you're gonna get this, that? No, 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 no. I, I love this. I love the greens, I love the purples, whichever shade you want. I love the oranges and the blacks together. So give me, you know, versions of Eva, even when it comes like to some variants like the Godzilla and stuff. And I am happy, and that is what I like, that's what I'm in it for. So there you go guys, that's my review, hope you dug it, let me know your thoughts below. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe, till next time, peace out.